I was discarded after just one use. I always felt anxious, wondering, will I ever have a chance to be useful in the world again? Then, that opportunity came to me. I was sent to SK Chemicals' Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab. Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab is not just a simple plastic production factory. It is a place where recycled plastics like me, made with waste plastic, undergo various molding processes tailored to customer and corporate requests. Through multiple modifications and experiments, waste plastics are transformed for diverse purposes. In short, they experiment to see if the products processed and created here can be used elsewhere. With top-tier equipment infrastructure in Korea, they are leading in plastic research and new product development. Now, let me tell you the story of how I, once waste plastic, was reborn at Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab as a co-polyester product. This is the Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab of SK Chemicals in Hwasong City, South Korea. For a discarded pet bottle like me, coming to this lab was truly a stroke of luck. I was collected as a recyclable waste to be rice grain shaped co polyester resin and brought up here. The first step for us was undergoing perfect dehumidification and drying treatment to become high quality recycled plastic. Next, what awaited us were three paths injection molding process, extrusion molding process, and blow molding process. These paths are essential gateways we must pass through to be reborn as plastic products once again. Injection molding is the most common method of plastic processing. First, after drying, we are fed into the hopper of the injection machine and then enter the barrel. Inside the barrel, the rotation of the screw generates frictional heat combined with heat from the bands which melts us and makes us flowable. After melting, when we are shot into a mold with pressure from the advancing screw, we take the shape of the mold's empty space. Then, after cooling us down in the mold and taking us out, voila! We're complete! Products reborn through injection molding are diverse, including cosmetic containers, airtight containers, plastic parts for appliances, reusable cups, and more. Extrusion molding is when molded resin, that's us, in the screw inside the cylinder is pushed out through an outlet called a die. As we pass through rollers, we're cooled by contact with the rollers and air to become the final product. Generally, after exiting the die, we take on a flat, sheet-like form. Because of this characteristic, extrusion molding is often used for creating continuous shapes without changes in cross-sections. Products made through extrusion molding are typically used as films, sheets, and pipes. Lastly, blow molding. Doesn't the word blow remind you of something being blown with air? Blow molding is a manufacturing process primarily used for hollow products like plastic bottles. Before entering the blow mold, the material often goes through an initial molding process via injection or extrusion molding. This means a product created through injection molding is reshaped by injecting air into it, creating the desired form before it is removed from the mold. Notably, the Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab is equipped with ISBM three-station equipment, perfect for the three stages of blow molding. Products made through blow molding include cosmetic containers, sports bottles, sauce bottles, and food containers such as bottles for red ginseng extract. It is used for pressure-resistant carbonated drink bottles, heat-resistant bottles for sterilized drinks, and special bottles that can hold both heat and pressure, like those for makgeolli. And so, I was reborn at SK Chemicals Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab as an eco-friendly material, co-polyester, free from BPA concerns. Thanks to SK Chemicals' unique technology, there are no impurity marks and it stays clear. It boasts superior quality comparable to newly manufactured plastic. With this technology, plastic materials can be endlessly recycled. This time, I was reborn as a cosmetic container. But with SK Chemicals technology, I could be recycled countless more times in the future. That's it for my story of rebirth at SK Chemicals Dongtan Plastic Processing Lab. Until next time!